The spread of COVID-19 has been described as extraordinary times requiring extraordinary action. The social lockdown represents an intolerable intrusion to people's liberty, but the government is doing whatever it takes to slow the virus's spread. From Monday night at midnight, there will be an unprecedented total social lockdown in Gibraltar. Although supermarkets, grocery shops, chemists and pharmacies will remain open, all other retailers will be closed. This also applies to gyms and construction sites, with only specially licensed work sites allowed to remain operational. The lockdown will be enforced by the Royal Gibraltar Police, who've been given new powers through special regulations introduced by the government. The RGP, who may be assisted by officers of the Gibraltar Defence Police, can send people to their homes and arrest them for obstruction of police if they refuse, resulting in possible fines or even imprisonment. As from Tuesday, observe the rules that we have made to protect you. Be out as little as you have to. Get home as quick as you can. An invisible killer lurks amongst us, and you can do your bit to slow its passage through our city by observing these rules. And if you have symptoms, call 111 and self-isolate. Because you can see what we are trying to do, to slow the virus, to stop the harrowing images on your television screens of what has happened in China, Italy and Spain, manifesting also in Gibraltar. If you're out, walk on your own. Parents, walk only with children. Do not congregate with others. As from Tuesday morning, I am very sorry to say that the Royal Gibraltar Police will have power to enforce these regulations. We realise the heavy burden that that will impose on our officers. Please help them by not knowingly contradicting rules that we are putting in place to protect you and your loved ones. Please follow the instructions of a police officer who is acting pursuant to these regulations. This is about enhancing social distancing. There will be power to enforce these regulations by a police officer for this purpose. The chief minister, who last night took a call from Spain's minister for the interior, Fernando Grande Marlaska, said the ROCKS lockdown was not related to their conversation. Uh, it is quite the opposite. I understand why you asked the question, but it is quite the opposite. The, the advice of the Director of Public Health concerns the influx of people from Spain into Gibraltar. Given that Spain has become an unfortunate focal point for the disease, and indeed that uh, although Andalusia is still not at the rate in which we've seen in Madrid, a lot of people have come down from Madrid into the area. And so it's important both to protect the workers who are coming into uh, Gibraltar so that they can uh, stay in their homes in Spain in keeping with the Spanish decree and to stop the spread of the virus in Gibraltar by importing it from Spain and having it congregate in workplaces where social distancing cannot be practiced, that we should take this decision. But there's no question whatsoever of my conversation with uh, Senor Fernando Grande Balasca having been anything other than entirely positive and cordial. And it was an opportunity to talk about how we might help people who find themselves in a difficult situation. But it was primarily about keeping the frontier flowing and the way that uh, Spain was ensuring and wanting to give us assurances that the frontier would continue to flow. So really quite the opposite. I wouldn't want anybody to think that the government of Gibraltar is acting as a result of an imposition or a condition which was not even mentioned in the phone call. The social lockdown measures in Gibraltar have been designed specifically for our territory, given the Rock's unique circumstances. People can still work in their offices, but only if they have to. Registered children can go to their designated school and restaurants can continue to provide takeaway and home delivery services. The public at large can continue to go out for exercise, such as walking or running, but they must do so on their own or with someone who's already living with them and keeping away from others. But no one must congregate in numbers, while the rules on the over 70s remain in place. The chief minister urged those who could to work from home and only leave the house if absolutely necessary. These extraordinary times require extraordinary action and we have not hesitated to act when required. We will not hesitate to do what we have to do in order to slow the spread of the virus. I know it will be hard also for you. Whether you own a business or you work in our economy or even if you're not presently working, 
If you're running a business that is covered by the regulations, please notify your employees as soon as possible. If you're able to, do not open tomorrow. We're allowing an extra 24 hours so that you can make arrangements. Please let us keep focused on slowing down this virus. Let us remember that failure is not the growth of the number of detected infections. Failure is an unnecessary increase in the number of deaths. Failure is not slowing the virus down so that we are able to deal with the numbers of infected people manifesting at our hospitals. The chief minister said this had been the hardest decision of his political career so far and had consulted the attorney general to ensure the measures did not violate the constitution. The regulations have a time limit of 30 days and will be reviewed every 48 hours to ensure they are still necessary. For now, we have no choice but to act in this way. It is time to be sensible. It is time to follow the rules that most have been following voluntarily and which will now be obligatory. It is time to brace for the worst and hope or pray for the best. The lockdown comes amid fears that cases of COVID-19 will spike in Gibraltar in the coming days. Five new cases have been confirmed overnight, bringing the total up to 15, with two hospital admissions. Five have recovered, leaving 10 active infections. Preparations to cope with the expected surge are moving ahead quickly. A group of nurses from an international agency are due in Gibraltar tonight, and they will assist in the staffing of the field hospitals that have been set up. A request for logistical assistance has also been submitted to the Ministry of Defence, so that the Royal Gibraltar Regiment can help with issues such as transportation of goods. A social lockdown means that Gibraltar's economy has been placed in an induced coma, with affected businesses being provided with measures amounting to an economic lifeline. The Chief Minister wants everyone to use Monday as a day when adjustments to their way of life are made, and for the public at large to start using their common sense, as the concern is now immediate.